Today, not only will I be giving you the best way to play this structure deck straight out of the box, I'll also be giving you the knowledge to make this deck so powerful, your opponents will be trembling in their knees. Actually, you don't tremble in your knees, you tremble in your body, but you get what I'm saying. As the master of faster, the king of disaster, this Fire King structure deck will gain the awe of your friends, the jealousy of your enemies, and more importantly, the duels that you want to win. Let's jump on in. So the Fire King structure deck is actually kind of cracked. Looking at the cards included, there are some really good cards that you're gonna need for your deck. Even if you don't play this deck, there's cards like Drollin Lockbird. Alpha Master of the Beast is a card that I played in my last deck and actually did really well. Infinite Impermanent, Solemn Judgment. Overall, this structure deck is fire. Opening up this bad puppy, there has to be something a little bit more inside of it. And uh, yeah, this mat, holy crap. Okay, I gotta say, Konami actually did a really good job with the looks of this mat. And it actually even gives you a little bit of cards that you guys could get. The only problem with this is that it is made of paper. It's absolutely trash. Where I would go to get my mats is the CaliEffect.com. You can even pick up your Yu-Gi-Oh! Generations mat today. It has that old school feel. It even says Magic and Trap Card in the Spell and Trap Card Zone. So if you're a boomer like me, then you already know what's happening on this one. It is a splendid mat. Let's go ahead and jump on into the actual deck which they actually god it was really hard to get this out i gotta say the stock quality for this thing is actually interesting the cards look a little bit darker i don't mean like me darker but these cards actually do have a little bit of orangish tint to them there's a lot of ink being used you can tell that these were put together maybe with a little bit more care konami maybe i think overall the cards though are really good to fill they are nice to touch and I gotta say, we gotta build a structure deck or a deck using this particular structure deck. It's going to be really, really awesome. Oh, Troll and Lockbird Common. That actually looks so good. Oh my God. Yo, there's actually some really big bangers in here. Dark Hole, Herald of the Abyss. Holy chain destruction. Yo, you remember when Yugi used this card? Okay, my boomer is probably showing, but I mean, it's, it's actually some crazy good cards in here. Let's go ahead and build the deck. So the crazy cool thing about this Fire King structure deck is that not only was I able to build a cohesive 40 card Yu-Gi-Oh deck, I actually was able to build a side deck, something that I don't think that is any other structure deck. And the side deck is pretty sound, but allow me to explain why I play these particular cards and why this is the best version of it. There's three copies of Sacred Fire King Runix. This card is really, really important for the deck, especially when we don't have a lot of ways to get into it as easily as possible. So having this card in your hand, uh, if you can't get to it with your Fire King Island is incredibly important because it does allow you to destroy from your deck, which can trigger so many effects. Obviously, one card that you may want to trigger is Fire King High Avatar Garunix. This card is crazy underrated, and it has natural synergy with the deck because not only can it summon Sacred Fire, or not only can it destroy your Sacred Fire King Garunix on the following play, it can also summon Sacred King Fire King Garunix from your deck when destroyed by battle. Really, really good card. There's three copies of Fire King High Avatar Kirin. This is the best monster in the deck, allowing you to be able to destroy cards when it's destroyed and special summon monsters, but can also destroy cards to summon itself. And then there's three copies of your second best normal summon, Fire King Ar Avatar Arvata. This card allows you to be able to stop cards like Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring and Effect Veiler, which could inhibit your strategy. The first best normal summon in the entire deck is three copies of Legendary Fire King Ponyx. The Chicken Nugget Boy is amazing. It allows you to be able to get not only into your Fire King spell and trap cards, but also is the recyclable fire monster that you can keep on destroying to be able to use your Fire King effects. I also play two copies of Fire King Barong. This is really, really powerful. This is the deck that actually is really good at dodging trap cards or hand interruptions like Drool and Lockbird because you don't search on the turn as destroyed, you search on the next turn, which essentially gets you your legendary Fire King Ponix or your Kirin to your hand to be able to play. I also play one copy of Fire King Avatar Ring Bali. This card is really good for being able to stop your opponent's spell and trap cards. Really good at stopping powerful trap cards like Infinite Impermanence to be able to negate your monster effects or spell cards like Triple Tactics, Talent, and Thrust after you've already used the effect of your Fire King monsters. And then I also do play some Spice. This card is heavily underrated. Not a lot of people play it. 
There's two copies of Fencing Fire Ferret in here. Now, this card will activate any time it is destroyed. It can destroy a card on your opponent's field and inflict 500. So not only does it give your Fire Kings a little bit more flair to the destruction, it also can come up in time. This structure deck is going to need all the help that it can with the fire cards instilled in this deck. But the Fire King cards aren't bad themselves. So there's three copies of Fire King Sanctuary. This card is phenomenal, allowing you to be able to get your Fire King Island. But more importantly, allowing you to be able to exceed someone on your turn or your opponent's turn is incredible. One copy of Fire King Skyburn and also one copy of Circle of the Fire Kings. I think that these are really powerful. Skyburn allows you to be able to get rid of cards. Circle of the Fire Kings can be manipulated to dodge your opponent's cards and summon fire monsters to your side of the field. There's only two copies of Fire King Island. You don't necessarily need three because you have nine ways to get into it. If you wanted to play a third copy, I wouldn't hold you to it. I just don't think it's as optimal. There is three copies of Fire Formation Tenki. Getting into your Fire King Avatar Arvata is actually a lot more important than what people give it credit because cards like Ash Blossom and Effect Veiler can ruin your combo and you don't necessarily need your normal summon with this particular deck. So dedicating it into a way to stop your opponent from stopping you is good by my book. Next for the spells and the last spell that we play in the deck, two copies of Dark Hole. This card is incredibly good, especially if you can pair it up with Dark Hole Dragon. It's actually amazing how this particular particular deck can use dark hole dragon to be able to destroy um to be able to summon itself and still search and it's an exceedable card it's actually really really interesting you might see me playing that there's then two copies of dogora in the mad flame kaiju really good for getting over your opponent's monsters three copies of infinite impermanence and three copies of troll and lockbird now after that we do play a sideboard that i was talking about there's one extra rank bali three copies of herald of abyss one extra copy of Fire King Skyburn, three copy of Alpha Master of the Beast, really, really good card, actually incredible that it's in here. One Fencing Fire Ferret, three copies of Solemn Judgment, and three copies of Torrental Tribute. Torrental Tribute is an amazing card when you know you're going first and you can spring it on your opponent to negate whatever they're gonna be making. For the extra deck, it's pretty much just three of every card that was listed inside of the structure deck you're only going to get 12 slots for your extra deck so if you have three other cards and you can go ahead and throw them in as well if anything i would probably just keep the fire king monster and the hita if you have a full extra deck but we're not done here i'm going to be showing you an even more powerful version and that was it for the three structure decks profile this one I actually sleeved up with my Raven wing sleeves and you guys can go ahead and check them out on the CaliEffect.com. I'd pick them up when they have the chance because these phenomenal. Let's go ahead and break down the most powerful version of the deck. There's three copies of Fire King High Avatar Kirin. I think that this is one of the best cards in the deck. Really good at being able to destroy cards and trigger effects. Then there's only two copies of Sacred Fire King Garunix. Since we do play a little bit more consistency cards, we don't need three Garunix in this particular version. I do play one copy of the OG Garunix. It may be a little bit of Hopia, but I actually think that this card is really good, especially when you combine it with this Garunix, you use it to destroy, which becomes a dark hole, but more importantly, puts this Garunix into the graveyard, which actually is good because summoning it back and destroying is its main function. They work really well together. Of course, there's three copies of Legendary Fire King Ponix, best chicken nugget in the inside, in the entire deck, and really, really easy to get to with this build. Three copies of Fire King Avatar Arvata. This is the second best normal summon in the entire deck. And only one copy of Fire King Avatar Ring Bali and one copy of Barong. Now, you can actually cut the Ring Bali for a card like Divine Carnage Kara Kara. I don't think that that card is bad because I am playing an engine to search into it. But Ring Bali is really good at being able to stop Triple Tactics, Talent, Thrust, and Infinite Impermanence, which are really being much more play being played a lot. Next for the spell cards, of course, there's only two copies of Sanctuary and two copies of Island. I think two and two is pretty much the wave and you're really only going to need one effect of them, right? Because after you use your Sanctuary to get your Island, everything should be blazing from there. There's one copy of Fire King Skyburn. I do not play Circle of the Fire Kings in the main board, though I do think that the card is actually really good and was just a last minute cut. Two copies of Fire Formation Tenki. I really want to bump this up to three, mainly because there is a really big combo that I'll show you guys later um, that requires Fire Formation Tenki. And then four more consistency cards. There's three copies of Proud of Prosperity. Really excited that this card actually was reprinted with the Rarity Collection, so now everyone has access to it. 
for the hand interruptions there's three nibiru three ash and three infinite and permanent uh one thing that i will say about this deck is that i did want it to play effect veiler as well i just did not have room for this so if you guys can find room for an effect veiler i would play all four of those those are the most played hand traps in Yu-Gi-Oh! right now now here's where things get a little bit expensive i'm not gonna lie to you guys this deck has been pretty cheap so far but these cards make the deck pop there's two copies of Diabell Star, the Black Witch, and one copy of Snake Eyes, Flamebeard's Dragon. At first, I wasn't playing this card until I realized that there is a phenomenal combo, guys. I mean, a phenomenal combo that works with this card. It's actually pretty much unstoppable and pretty much wins you the game. And there's so many other avenues to be able to get it, as well as it being a fire monster to destroy, worst case scenario. One copy of the Snake Eye Ash. This card can be used to search your baby Ponix or it can also be used to be able to search uh, Divine Current at Kira Kira, which is a card I wanted to play. There's then one copy of the original F Sinful Spoil Snake Eyes and three copies of Wanted Seeker of Sinful Spoils. I know that these cards are really, really expensive, but fortunately enough, I do have a budget alternative. For my brokies in the back, I would drop the Wanted Sinful Spoils engine, or I mean, I guess you couldn't afford it, so you can't drop what you don't have, but I would play three copies of Nadir Servant and one Ecclesia, one Maximus, one Floor Delise. Now, this engine isn't as powerful, and the reason why I say it is because Dogmaticas have been a little bit power crept, but I will say about this, you use Nadir Servant to be able to send Garua to add Dogmatica Maximus, and then you special summon your Dogmatica Maximus, using it to be able to send Shurag, and then any other card from your deck to the graveyard, maybe even a Titan Clyde. The cool thing about this is that when you do this, you can actually trigger the effect of your Shurag. Since you have a Banished Garua, you can search Ponix. But then you also can use your Titan Clad to special summon Ecclesia to be able to add Floor Delete from your deck to your hand. So it's really cool that this deck can do that. The only problem is that it locks you out of special summoning from your extra deck, which that can be really, really rough. I think that this engine is really good for budget players, though, and is a particular engine you should look to if you are don't have the sinful spoils just yet but want to move past the fire kings it is a 42 card deck so if you take out the uh sinful spoils cards and put in the dogmaticas you're at 40 exactly for the extra deck one zeus one dingirsu one sky crisis two garunix eternity one copy of underworld goddess one sussy coat one selene one deco talker one sp little knight one ip one uh sunlight wolf one hita one Phoenix and one Link Rebo. You're probably wondering what cards would you cut out for the engine? Well, that's gonna be pretty much up to you. I mean, obviously, if you can't afford an SP Little Knight, that goes for the Garua. Um, these two cards, or these three cards, would go for the uh, Tri Brigade Shireg, the Elder Entity Entis, and of course, the Titan Clyde. And then maybe you could cut, maybe like Axis Code Talker or Sky Crisis, for Elder Entity Entis or Sky Pegasus or whatever flex spots you may want to put in. That's it for the main board and the extra deck, but let me show you how this deck works with the important combos. Okay, big dog, there's actually a plethora of ways to be able to do this combo at the very, very basics. You should know one thing. Legendary Fire King Ponix allows you to be able to get your Sanctuary to your island. Destroying your Ponix, you can get your Garunix, which summons itself and then destroys the Barong for you to be able to get your Kirin and your Ponix back into your hand. That is the combo at the very lowest point. The very highest point, this deck can actually do some incredibly nasty things. In this particular combo, I'm gonna be showing you how Wanted Seeker, Sinful Spoils, and Fire Formation Tanky in specifically is actually a crazy duo. What we're gonna do is start off by activating our Wanted Seeker of Sinful Spoils to be able to get our Diabell start. And then we're going to activate our Fire Formation Tenki. We're going to use its effect to be able to add Fire King Avatar Arvata to our hand. We'll then send the Fire King Avatar Arvata to summon our Diabell Star, which allows us to be able to set our Sinful Spoil Snake Eye. Using its effect, we'll send the Black Witch to the graveyard to be able to special summon a level one monster in Snake Eye Ash. Now the effect of Snake Eye Ash activates and allows us to get legendary Fire King Ponix which will normal summon to our side of the field, using its effect to get Sanctuary, to get Island, then destroying the Ponix for the Grunix, and then summoning the Grunix to our side of the field. Grunix has a unique task this time around. It'll actually destroy the Fire King Avatar Kirin, 
which will allow us to summon our Arvata back to our side of the field. We'll then use the Snake Eye Ash Sending Tanky and itself to the graveyard to be able to summon our Flame Beerge. And you can use Flame Beerge to place a card into the Spell and Trap Card Zone, but the summoning effect is only during your opponent's turn. So trust me, I really wanted to do that. Use Flame Burge and Garunix for a Link Summon into a Solomon Great Sunlight Wolf, and then trigger the effect of your Flame Beerge to summon Snake Eye Ash and your legendary Fire King Ponix. Ponix can be used for a Link Summon here. We're actually gonna go ahead and use it to be able to make Link Karibo, triggering the effect of our Solomon Great Sunlight Wolf to be able to add legendary Avatar Kirin to our hand. And then we'll use the Sunlight Wolf and the Link Karibo for another Link Summon into Deco Talker Heat Soul. Now, again, that was a three card combo. So I have Kirin and three other cards in my hand. Heat Soul will put an additional card in my hand and we will use the effect of our Wanted to place the original Sinful Spoils to place another card into our hand. From here, we'll use both the Snake Eye and the Urvata for our last Link Summon into our IP Mascarena. Now, the reason why this combo is slightly risky is because if I don't have another Fire Monster in my hand, then things aren't as strong as they are. But odds are, I've drawn enough cards to have enough Fire Monster in my hand and I'll be able to draw an additional card on my opponent's turn. So let's take, for example, one of the cards just so happened to be Fire King Avatar Barong. We can actually use the Fire King High Avatar Kirin destroying the Barong to summon itself to the side of the field. But then we can also use the effect of Sacred of the Fire King Garunix to summon itself to the side of the field and then destroy a card from the deck. That card of choice can be Legendary Fire King Kirin number two to be able to destroy a card on the field and summon Ponix and Ponix will allow us to be able to add Fire King Emulsion or Skyburn now. We can then still use the effect of IP Mascarena to link off with Deco Talker Heat Soul on our opponent's turn to be able to summon SP Little Knight to banish a card. And if our opponent still continues to special summon, well, we can use our Fire King Sanctuary to exceed summon with these two cards into our Garunix Eternity to destroy all cards on the field. That inevitably will destroy our SP Little Knight if we haven't used its effect, but will importantly destroy our legendary Fire King Ponix to add it back into our hand during the next play. Fire King Structure Deck has so many cool combos and interactions, it's gonna take somebody that is genuinely devious, someone that is setting the world ablaze to be able to master. This is what I have for my Fire King Structure Deck, and of course, if you wanna see more amazing content, you already know what to do. Be sure to check out these other videos so I can catch you on the next one.